perspective we're obviously really excited it took us nine years to to get to the one billion rand spend mark but it only took us three years to double that number to two billion rand and I think an obvious question is why did it go so much quicker for the next billion rand I think customers have become a lot savvier around rewards programs um, they're a lot better equipped to understand how they can earn more e-bucks and as a result of that they've got more available to spend but I think a very important driver that's come in along the way is just the tough economic climate that's out there you know nowadays we typically see that e-bucks members end up using their e-bucks to stretch their wallets um, as much as almost half of the e-bucks that are spent on a daily basis goes towards everyday essentials the likes of the scheme pharmacies where people end up buying medication or airtime or then engine you know engine is a very good example of the fuel spend that goes through there that really talks to that everyday necessity since engine alone has launched in November 2009 they have put through 90 million rands worth of e-bucks. Customers really are struggling to make ends meet and, and it's these e-bucks that help them stretch stretch their wallet. So we are very aware that, that customers are finding it tough at the moment and hence the reason that we are looking for these necessities. So yeah, I think there's a number of factors playing a role in terms of um, the spend that, that's currently happening. I think we've also worked really hard as a team to try and understand what is it that our customers are looking for. What is the type of spend opportunities that we talk to them and we know we've got people that absolutely love travel and you know we'll take the time to put proper value propositions and spend channels together in that environment all the way through then the necessities that people need in terms of every day we've got a number of spend opportunities on on e-bucks that you know when the merchandising team originally brought it to us we as a executive team all gave it a big frown and a very good example of that is the biltong makers people absolutely love spending their e-bucks on on biltong makers so that's a firm favorite and we need to ensure that we always have that in stock e-bucks by nature is, is quite an innovative team you know we go out there and, and try and find technologies that would make sense for us um, both in terms of our members and our partners but I think the one thing we've always done as an e-bucks team is not just to take on a technology for the sake of taking on a technology we really spend time trying to understand how will this technology make things more convenient for our customers um, um, how will this make it simpler when they interact with us and it's part of the reason why we've got such a wide selection of spend channels for example our mobile cha spend channel is exceptionally um, exciting for a lot of members and very simple and convenient to use so we see huge throughput in terms of, of airtime on, on the mobile platform but I think it's just logical for us to then over the next period of time look at um, the FNB app and see how we can extend the program into that environment and also look out for, for other the platforms that the bank will be bringing on from a technology perspective and where it makes sense introduce epochs into into that ecosystem